Jermaine Unnatural. I am Jermaine Ryan. And today I am finally, finally getting ready to test some things out. We about to prove some things today. So, as we know, um, the Panasonic destroyed everything. One of those things being dentistry. So I have not been able to get my teeth clean, which I have always done on a regular basis, but I have been keeping up with brushing my teeth most of the time. <laughs> There were just days where I just, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I was laid off 2021, a portion of 2021. So yeah, there were some days where I just wasn't feeling the best and I didn't leave my bed other than to go to the refrigerator and to the bathroom and then back to the bed. <laughs> I mean, that's nasty. But, um, you know, I've kind of picked myself back up and like got back to my regular regimen again and I like, have been continuing on with it. So, if you all do not know this, I have a whole playlist called Oral. Beep. <laughs> O-R-A-L, Oral. Yep, that mouth play. And, um, you know, I, like I said, I consider myself to be like the consumer guides or the consumer reports of testing things on the YouTubes. So I test, you know, y'all see me do a whole lot of different stuff on here. One of those things being some of the toothpastes that are out there. And there's, of course, as the name says, Jermaine on Natural, so I go for the natural things. So one, so the brand that I swear by that I use the things on a regular basis, like I got a whole subscription set up, set up is Gardner's Garden, and I use their Oxy Pulling. Is it gonna show? The Oxy Pulling System, the trio. So it's the Oxy Pulling. It is the mouthwash and the tooth powder. That's it. Actually, I should set these things out now so I can go ahead and brush my teeth. Oh, and I use my little pick thing to, to floss. So, I am getting ready to go to the dentist. I, I'm getting ready to go to the dentist. I'm gonna go ahead, do my, do my trio hook up here, and um, I'm gonna take y'all with me. So this is gonna be like an update, follow-up vlog type of thing, and we're gonna see really how well it's been working because I think I'm, I've mentioned it before in, I don't know if it was the, the regular one or the cinnamon one. Beep. And remember that any videos that pop up above will always be linked down below. So I have teeth sensitivities here and down here. And since using the Gardner's Garden, I don't have, like I legit do not have any sensitivities to cold, any sensitivities to hot. And I'm gonna say it took maybe about a week or two before like they completely went away. And like I said, because I am in a better space mentally, I have been back on brushing my teeth like regularly, regularly. Sensitivities are not fair. And as a lover and regular consumer of ice cream, and true food, shout out to Faith for putting me on the true food. It was, I couldn't, I, I was suffering through it. And we go, we go do it. We're going to get a professional opinion of this. All right, so I'm about to brush my teeth now, and then I'll see y'all when I get in the car. Fortunately, it's like a solid 10 minutes away at the very, not, is it even 10 minutes? No, it's not even 10 minutes. It's not even 10 minutes away. So I'm close, but I'm late, but my teeth feel great. Listen, my breath is very rarely feels this fresh with anything else 
after using their things. I like the I do like Hello. I keep a tube of Hello on deck just when I need something a little bit quicker and I don't have as many steps. Beep. This is what I use on a, on a regular, regular break basis. It always makes me want to leave out and be like, hello, Helga, how's it holding? And Hartford, Hereford, and Hampshire, Hardikins, hardly ever happen. <laughs> Her breath! Real H heavy, like I'm from H Town. Uh, wait, did I did that do that right? H H, like I'm from Houston. I want to sing real breathy, like Mariah Carey, or like Marilyn Monroe. You know, just breathy. All right, I'll never stop. <laughs> I'll never stop. I'm gonna pick back up when I get to the dentist office. So I got a call. I'm like, where you at? We about to cancel. <laughs> so I'm walking in now. <laughs> Terrible, terrible. Hi. Hi. How are you? Jermaine? Come on in. Oh, okay. Can I record? No. No. What you recording? So I do YouTube and I'm been trying this oxy pulling thing and I wanna get like a synopsis of what I've been using to brush my teeth with for the past two years. <laughs> I can keep I can I can keep it close to me. I don't have to like I've, it's recording, but I've got it close to me, so it's not getting anything. But the company's called Garner's Garden, and they have a cleaning trio called Oxy Pulling. Never heard of. So you have heard about oil pulling before? Before for people you like use oil to brush your teeth? Well, you talking about like the coconut oil? Yeah. Oh yeah, I heard of that. So what they do is they use. It's a full grade H202 thing that they use. Mm -hmm. And then it's like uh, charcoal powder and peppermint oil and like a few other things that you use. And then you mouthwash with that and then you use their pulling, which has the charcoal in it. Okay. And then when you brush your teeth, you use the mouthwash and they have um, charcoal powder and like another, like powder concoction okay and you put that in with the mouthwash you swish it around and then you brush your teeth with that well you know the charcoal is too abrasive for the teeth well it's a really 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 fine powder okay yeah it's it's really really fine okay it's been a good long while since i've been here all right philip all right philip So, you said my teeth are beautiful. No decay. I didn't see any decay. I got them firm gums. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, was there any bleeding? No. In my gums? No. Yes. No. As, as long as you have been cleaning my teeth, and like earlier on when you were cleaning my teeth, uh -huh. and they would bleed, I would. Oh my goodness, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> like, no, not bloody gums. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Blueberries. Do the blueberries before I brush? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can't have them after you brush. That's the thing that happens. You just your straw to suck out. Mm. Yes, okay. since she took over. So y'all are like officially like a fully, fully woman owned and operated yeah. dentistry office. Mm -hmm. We love to hear it. <laughs> so first of all, I tell you stop using a charcoal toothpaste. Stop. It's different from a typical toothpaste. It's a fine powder that dissolves when you put it in so your mouth. So it's not approved by the American Dental Association because it has shown to be abrasive and wear enamel away. Hmm. So once enamel's gone, you don't get it back. 
So any sort of ones like that, they, they may look, your teeth may look lighter, um, but essentially what it's doing is it's wearing away the surface of your tooth. And so it makes it more porous in the long run, so you end up catching more stain. Mm. Don't do this to me. I don't want to hear this mess. And it also, um, it, uh, it wears away enamel. Um, oh, it's not for lightning. Huh? It's not for lightning. Okay, or white me. Why are you white using me. it then? Um, it's a natural uh, toothpaste. I I'd have to show it to you for you to see it. It's it's not traditional. It's not a paste at all, actually. Okay, but it's charcoal. So the powder that you mix in with it is charcoal. But it's like a finely powdered. So like once I once I rinse it around, mm -hmm. I don't have grittiness at all. It's just all liquid. Okay. So it's it's super fine. And so if you're going to use something, I'd rather, even if you wanted to use something natural, I would go with like a Tom's or, um, there's another one. Hello, you. They're Hello. both yeah, natural. Yeah, I like, I like Hello, too. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Um, that are both natural and that, that don't have like any of that abrasiveness. So mm -hmm. those would be my go-to. Um, but let's take a look. Okay. Go ahead and bite and then open wide and then bite and then turn towards me and open wide and bite down and then turn towards me and say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Say, ah, uh, one more time. Ah. Uh. It looks like you have a tonsil stone back there. Do you, know, do you get tonsil stones normally? I don't know what that is. I have them here. So there are little calcifications that form in your tonsils. It's nothing to like be worried about. Sometimes if you ever feel like, oh, I have something like, I feel like there's something in the back of my throat, it's probably a tonsil stone. They usually work their way out and then you swallow them. Oh. You typically don't know them. Some people will be like crazy and try to like work them out, but like they'll take care of themselves. But grab that mirror and I'll show you real quick what I'm looking at. Okay, so you're gonna be looking on the right side all the way in the back. So, ah, you guys are, uh -huh. so that's what that is. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, it's pretty common, but yeah, it's just one of those things that some people don't know they have and some people are like, oh yeah, I get them all the time. So you may be someone who gets them on occasion. Oh, okay. Now that you know Because I felt there. that the other day and I'm like, what's back there? Yeah, it almost doesn't feel like a little like popcorn kernel. <laughs> That's what I thought and I had had popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was yeah. like a kernel. It's a, it's okay. a, and it'll like work its way out. Yeah. It's interesting. All right, fun. Um, see, they're beautiful. Thank you. Cool. Uh, yeah. You're doing a nice job. Mm. Tissue looks great. Because whose teeth are beautiful? Hey, it me. Mine. <laughs> Whose gums are firm? Mine. <laughs> Who's suffering from decay? Not I. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> All right, so she was concerned about the powder. Uh, she's gonna look it up to see the abrasiveness of it. I, it dissolves. I was really unconvinced when I really first started using it because I did. you never feel powder. You don't feel grittiness at all. Um, so I'll see what she says, what she looks it up and uh, stuff like that. But she said to keep doing what I'm doing and that's what I've been doing. So <laughs> the teeth don't lie. So I'm not probably going to eat until like 11 o'clock at night because I hate to ruin my teeth after I've had them cleaned. <laughs> Eating to me ruins it and I won't. I might have some water. <laughs> anyway... I will come back with you on what she finds, but if she's saying to keep doing what I'm doing, something's working right. All right, fella. Theo. <laughs> okay, it has been six months since I recorded. This is like extra six months. It is my dentist appointment and following up. So my dentist did some research on the gardener's garden because she was like initially she's like no 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 don't use it as charcoal it's going to be too abrasive and it's going to wear away at the enamel on your teeth don't use it and i'm like well well look it up because it's not it's not your traditional charcoal toothpaste look it up first so But she did mention it to me that like it was really good to go. She said it's not like what she thought it was going to be. Um, she saw a lot of really good reviews from dentists on it. So thumbs up. And what did they say? My teeth look perfect. <laughs> yes, Gardner Gardeners has been holding my dental hygiene down. So yes. Code link down below. Jermaine, all that. Gardeners Garden. Get the trio. Check out the trio. It is that deal. And as you just heard, clean bill of health for my teeth. So, all right, make sure that you like this video. 
feel free to subscribe because I'm giving you all of the things. I'm giving you all the things. Feel free to share this out because somebody else may want to know like using the gardener's garden oral trio regularly when you go to the dentist, really what is it doing? So share it out. Somebody else may need to they need to switch it up. They may want something new and natural. Punch the notification bell so that breast of when I post my videos. <laughs> and again, thanks for tuning in to Jermaine All Natural. I'll see y'all in the next one.